time for Funhouse. Wacky contestant, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Funhouse, Pat Sharp. Wow, look at this. I'll bet you all the tea in China, you haven't seen one of those bikes for ages. And they said to me, when you drive it, make sure you change gear. I said, that's silly, my clothes look great. Welcome to Funhouse. And talking of great looking clothes, you'll see that this is where the buck stops. Because here's Melanie and Martina. And here's their contestants. Bring them on. We thought just for a change this week we'd have the teams in yellow and red. <laughs> Thank you, Chase. <laughs> are you the yellows this week? Yeah. Oh, all right then. I'm always yellow. I'm trying to trick her, mate. Think oh, you're the sorry. other twin. You said, yeah, like, oh, oh, that's Melanie. Sorry. It's in Martina. Melanie. Which one's uh, who? Yeah. Okay. I have Anna and Niall from Porter Down, and they both attend the Killercomain Junior High School. Oh! And this is the other twin who's got the uh, red yes. sword. Yes. You, are you Martina? No, you Melanie? Melanie. Oh, OK, go on. I don't know. Right, I have Michelle and Sam, and they're from Worcester, and they attend the Hanley High yeah. Secondary School. Yeah. I think she's definitely Martina, because she made almost a mistake. So, Anna, welcome along. Nice to see you here. You are a sportswoman, aren't you? Yeah. A sporting lady. So what's your favourite sport, if you had to choose one? If someone said you can be professional in any sport, which one would you choose? Probably hockey. Hockey. Okay. Yeah. Well, I wish you luck today. I don't think we've got any, any hockey games, but there's a lot of running around, so you will enjoy yourself here. And you're with Niall, yes. as opposed to River, whose favourite thing is Liverpool Football Club. Well, they'll yep. be pleased to know that. <laughs> and you want to be an architect. Uh -huh. So you're here to build on your experience. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Sam Grigg is also here from Hanley Castle in Worcester, and uh, you want to be a tennis coach. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, when you're a coach, do you find that you're going to get enough time actually playing? Because you'll only be teaching, don't you want to play? Well, you, you hit the ball. Yeah, but it's play. not the same as competition, is it? You're not that feeling, that spirit of winning. Yeah. Yes. Like, calm yeah. down. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I want him to win, you see, or the yellows. I'm sure the yellows or the reds will win today. It'll be one or the other. And Michelle, <laughs> last but by no means least, nicknamed Mega Mouth Mickey. What's your funny story, Michelle? <laughs> well, um, we went down to the pub one night. Yes. And uh, young for that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a phone call to say that um, my dad's dogs had gone, uh, got out and had gone down to the end of the lane yeah. to one of my, um, to a man. Right. And um, they jumped in his um, pool or pond. And um, when dad came back, he said that um, they'd eaten all his goldfish, but he was only joking and he made everybody mad. <laughs> Wow, buddy, you ought to stay in the pub, I tell you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, good luck to all our players on Funhouse today! <laughs> all right, so for the weekend, we've decided to say Intercomber, Sister Vacas, Tushin and Snyder, Maris, Stickles, Ponte, Gaff, Nida, Midas, Internabolis, are after every single game. So I hope you'll be ready for that, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of difficult, I know, but you'll get three chances during the games, okay? Then you'll also have three questions, each one worth 25 points, following the games, which you also get 25 points for. Then the Fun Cup Grand Prix, which, guess what? You get 25 points for. Then a trip inside the Fun House, which, guess what? You don't get 25 points for. No, you don't, because it's all over by then, you see, and somebody's already won. So let's get on with it. Let's go to my bed of rice for game one. Yeah! Now, you know it's like, you have rice pudding at tea time, and you think, oh, you think, you think I'm not going to eat that, because that is just horrible. Look, oh, this, this is... This is congealed rice pudding. Now, if you think, if I think, look, there you go. What a rebel. I've thrown it on the bed. I just don't care. And the reason I don't care is because this duvet is coming off, baby. Oh, look. A real bed of rice. Excellent. Look at this. Want a little sharp selection? Can I just dip in for you? Okay. Have a look. Ugh. Okay. Somewhere amongst the rice, in the bed of rice, is a nightgown and a headpiece and a dressing gown and a toothbrush and all, all the things you wear when you go into bed. You don't actually wear a toothbrush, you use it before. But there's, there's all the gear, you know, that you would wear. I don't actually wear that much in bed myself. Just a smile when it's hot. But, um, no, it's, it's going to be a good game. You've got to get as many as you can on you, okay? Whatever you can find that's to do with going to sleep, put on your dressing gown, etc., etc., and get it on. Now, as soon as I say go, say go, that's how you start a pudding race, not a bed of rice race, you jump in there and you go for it. 60 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Oh, no, 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 no. Go!
throws the towel in at the end of the game. That was brilliant. You won't um, be in a rush next time your mum say, go to bed, will you? Not after that one. Wow. So it must be complete outfits. I don't think that's going to count. Do you, Tina? Turn around. Come on. No. Just let me know if you would honestly go to bed with a dressing gown on like that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You can go to bed. No, you've got to count these first. Go on. We've got two! All right. Yeah. Mel? Guess what, Pat? Guess what? You got two. We got yeah. two! Yeah. And our first pause check today says it's a score draw, 25 points apiece. Yeah! So who wants to go first saying intercom resistive acquisition is neither? No, you don't want to do that, do you? All right, girls, we'll ask you a question instead. They said make it an easy one, because we're not smart. And that was just the twins. Is tapioca a fruit? A pudding or a Japanese flower? <laughs> yes. Pudding. Pudding is right. Well done, yellow. So in the lead you are because you have 50. The red's just behind on 25. Yeah! And as we kiss the week goodbye and say hello to the weekend, we invite the girls to wear some very special makeup in the next game. A little bit of foundation, a little bit of brown makeup for you. Takes place in the wrestling ring for some mud wrestling. Yeah! away round one of a roll-up game it's a rollover week because these girls will be rolling over with their partners okay now these well, I'll show you the partners in a couple of seconds first of all have a look at the ring okay the ring is covered in mud it's mud wrestling on each side of the ring we have some sponges just like this one the trouble is my one is a lot cleaner than the dirty ones that we've got down here these are the ones that you'll be washing your faces with to cool yourself down every time you roll from one side to the other, crossing each other to get a sponge. Now, these are their partners, as you can see. Get your goggles on. Now, get your goggles on. You'll need them because you're really going to be rolling in real mud here. Your partners are going to be with you, stopping you from getting over there, okay? So, wrestle away. It is a key game, so the runners-up will also be receiving points for how many sponges they get wiped across their face. I said give me a ring sometime if you get in trouble, so you can take this one. On your marks, get set, go! stupendous game as I take my place where it's safe. Right at the back here for the scores on the doors. Yellow's first, please. Okay, we got one, two, <laughs> three, four, five! Yay! All right, no dummies there. Five alive. How many you got? We got one, two, three, four, five! Yay! Another scroll draw <laughs> and all sorts of things going on down here. Rerun the fun! Well, they say wrestling's a dirty sport with a lot of foul play, but I bet they didn't expect that. You got so messy. 25 points each. Well done. Yeah! Okay, fellas, let's see how tough you are. You just have to answer a question by hitting the bell or buzzer, whatever you want to call it, before your opponent. Here we are. For what sport is Hulk Hogan famous? <laughs> Yellows. Yes, sir. Very quick. Well done. 25 yeah! points. 50. Reds. Yellows. 100. <laughs> Our last game is a stormer. It takes place high and low, so high low. Welcome to the Demolition Derby. Come on, everybody. Ready, steady, up. Oh, no, oh, well, but I, need, I need one of these on here because we're on a building site. It's a Demolition Derby. Our Demolition experts are here inside their Demolition Balls. You know when you see a crane, it's got a little metal ball at the end, and it 
bangs against the building and smashes it to pieces. That's what our fellows will be doing. Hold up your gloves, please. There we go. They are extra special builder's gloves. You will swing over here, you will get a glove, and you will smash one of the cement balloons here. They're inside full of cement. But up there, a member of the opposing team will try and drop buckets of cement on you to make it a little more difficult. You have 60 seconds to burst as many balloons as you can. You must wear your hard hat at all times on the building site, or you will look a sight by the time you get home. On your marks, get set, do it! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, look, look. Look at that slide you did there. That was brilliant. You did so well, but we don't know how well until we add them all up. So I'll tell you what, I'll hold on to uh, him for you, and you can uh, give the scores on the drawers. Okay, we got 11. There we are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Woo. Okay, you little twirler. And I'm going over to the reds. If you've got 11 as well, I don't know what I'm going to do, because we've had so many draws. Pat, we got 11. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think the twins are playing, not being the cheerleaders. Well done, everybody. Let's rerun the fun. Yeah. Oh, yes. Once again, as you saw, it's one of those little wooden boxes where you keep your clothes. Yes, it's a draw. 25 points each. In your face there you thought it was the question she's going what's he talking about this is the question it is for the girls good luck from demolition derby take your place stand by to hit it what name is given to the temporary metal and wooden framework used to support workmen scaffolding yes very good <laughs> while working on a building i was gonna say so you get another 25 now 75 reds 150 doubled up the yellows in the lead <laughs> Let's do the Fun Car Grand Prix. It's the fastest way to start the weekend. Bring on the cars, girls! There's a whole lot of fun that's been had. Now there's prizes to be won. As we get down to the nitty-gritty, they're all changed. Look at them. They've got all their zips done up and they're all ready to go. Oh, marvellous. You're going to put your helmets on, kids, because you need them. It's a serious drive. It's three laps. On the first lap, I want you to go and grab these tokens and collect them and put them in your pouch. They're worth 25 points each. On the second lap, I want to grab these tokens, which are worth 10 points each. As I say, they must go in the pouch, otherwise you go, ouch, because they don't count on the floor, all right? You all right in there? Yeah. Bit of catching up here, okay? Yellow's in the lead for Potter Down. Red 75. How are we going to get on? Who's going first? Me. You, you're going first over there? Who's going first over here? I am. Oh, I see, okay. So I wish you luck here. You will do three laps. Who's going on the last lap, you must just go for this, which is the checkered flag for the final fling, okay? It's up to you. You guys are going to stand up, wave your hands, make some noise, and enjoy yourselves, right? That's what Fun House is all about for the weekend. On your marks, you see the whole crew. They sit there like this, going, oh, there's going to be a huge bang. Go!
thought they were flagging and then they came round the inside and they did it 25 Yay! well done let's count yours up okay? okay see how we get on the Worcester selection here for Michelle and Sam one two three four is that maximum 10 yes. and this maximum. could be maximum 25 so it's maximum altogether yes. as opposed to you who's going to be a minimum okay <laughs> small maximum minimum thank you well done Reds your final score 240 that's yes, very good Okay, Anna and now 25s, okay? Let's see how we get on here. 25, 25, 25. And you're going for the 10 seconds. There's obviously no particular order in this, okay? 20, 255, you've done it, you're going into the final! Oh! But it was a close thing, wasn't it? You really caught up at the end there, well done. We'll make sure you get one of these each. Do you like these? Look at this. There you are, your own bag. The audience like these, personal stereos, CDs in the bag, there you go, and also you get one of those each, and a jacket, have a look, have a little twirl, Mel, oh. there we go. <laughs> Nobody else got those, you can't buy them anywhere, you can only win them when you've been on Funhouse. So, well played to the Reds, see you later, what's up? <laughs> well, Nile and Anna, have you had fun so far? Yep. Are you ready for the big one? Yep, yep. Let's see what is in the big one today, the ultimate prizes in the Funhouse, while you guys come on down! <laughs> Pull the flying box and turn the volume up with these personal stereo speakers. Brave the jungle jump and you'll feel safe and sound with this bike light set. Belt through the ball run and you'll be right on time for this trendy watch. Head for the stone faces to get this great hairdryer. Breeze through the bobsleigh and you'll be standing tall winning your height in donuts. Take the tumbling tube to this snazzy snake board. Bounce through the balloon tunnel for this smashing badminton racket. Or to the pullovers to prize the surprise. Rocket round the hungry burgers to land this ghetto blaster. Master the monster maze to claim this neat pen collection. Filed at the top of the wild slide is the Funhouse Filer Bags. Survive the danger net and lap up the luxury with a limo for the day. Stock it to the Skelter Belter and pack a punch with this backpack. Climb the net ladder to heady heights with t-shirts for all your class. Then slip and slide to get to grips with these terrific trainers. I just cannot believe what prizes this TV show gives away. They are so brilliant. What are you going to be going for? Snake board. The snake board. Anything else? Your height in donuts. Your height in donuts? Yeah. Mm, I could just fancy that now at tea time. Your height in donuts. Very tasty. <laughs> Anything you fancy? A gallo blaster. Okay. Have a look at this. This is an example tag of the 15 that are in there. One of them will activate the power prize, which this week is as follows. Gary? Go west for the spectacular San Francisco experience, the Golden Gate Bridge, cable cars, and Alcatraz. Wow, Alcatraz Prison. That's where you <laughs> kids need to go, isn't it? It's all right. It's not open anymore. Well, it's open. It's so open that you can get in and out. It's open to have a look round. Okay, how will you know it's the tag? When you hear this sound... You're halfway there. Melanie will bring on a question. If you answer it correctly, it's a three-parter. You're away with it, okay? Let's show everybody at home which tag it is. On your marks, get set, roll it! You don't know. The only way you'll know is when you grab it and it makes the sound, all right? <laughs> okay. Oh, good! I thought you were currently not alive, but no, you're all right. It's probably the nerves. Feet on the steps, three tags at a time. Going first? Oh, ah, fellas first. I knew what it's like. Used to be ladies first in my day, you know. I'm so old-fashioned. On your marks. Camera pack here to show where you're going. Get set. Be lucky. Go! <laughs>
Can we have a round of applause? That was so good! Well done, well done, congratulations, congratulations, come along. The good news is, coming in a few seconds' time, we'll hold on to the good news. First of all, we'll tell you the other good news. Where are you going? Over here. Come over here. Anyone. There you go. Any yellow you want. T-shirts for your whole class. Woo! Limo for the day. Woo! A backpack. Woo! The snake board, yeah. Woo! Personal stereo speakers. Woo! Your high-end donuts. Yeah! Complete with jam trainers. Yeah! And helicopter ride. Yeah! And hidden in the bomb sleigh was the tag that corresponded to the power prize. So bring on the question, Mel. Yeah! Fancy a bit of San Francisco, Fisherman's Wharf, the whole caboodle? This is your chance. The biggest prizes on the TV are on Funhouse. Please confer, you have 10 seconds. Name three of the four seasons of the year. You only need three. Spring, summer, autumn. Yeah! They were saying, we know winter as well, and we know you'll be here, summer or winter, next week for another winning fun house. See ya! Yeah!